bond hearing this morning for a gentleman by the name are you Noah Allen Blanton yes, Mr. Blanton I'm Judge Allison one of the city judges and I'm here to go over your rights with you and to set your bond okay the city of Daphne has charged you with attempted murder times two and also the crime of possession of a handgun or possession of a weapon during a violent crime do you understand those charges yes, okay Mr. Allen you have the right uh, Mr. Blanton I'm sorry you have the right to an attorney in this you understand that you also have the right to a preliminary hearing. Do you know what that is? You have a right to hear the state's evidence against you. In order to have one of those hearings, you must request it. And all the rights that I'm talking about you today, I will give you copies of before you leave here, okay? You will have a copy of everything that we talk about today. I will ask you if you have any questions. I will remind you that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. I just remind you of that, and if you have anything you want to ask me, make sure it's just about the bond hearing, okay? Um, I'm going to give you two court dates for this um, offense. You will report to General Sessions, which is the big courthouse behind First Baptist Church, on two separate occasions. The dates and times of these appearances cannot be changed for any reason. If you fail to appear at either time, a bench warrant for your arrest will be issued, and you will remain in jail until which time the solicitor's office um, brings your trial, your case to trial. Do you understand that? And I'm, going to give you, I'm going to give you a copy of these dates. The first one's going to be December the 5th of, 20, of 2019, and that one starts at 9 a.m. The second one will be in February. That date has not been determined by the solicitor's office, so they will notify you at which time you will know what time to go that day in February at 2 o'clock. Again, you're going to get a copy of everything. I know this is a lot of information, but I'm going to give you a copy of everything. Okay? Um, I'm not sure. Did I pay offense? Uh, in the room is Mr. Barry Barnett. He is the solicitor for the Seventh Judicial Circuit. Mr. Barnett, do you have anything you would like to present to the? Uh, yes, ma'am. I do. Just give you briefly the facts in this case. This happened back on October 10, 2019, or about 6:28 p.m. at 202 Rogers Street here in Gaffney, in the city of Gaffney, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, the Gaffney Police Department was notified. They went to the scene, Your Honor. They found two victims. There's two 16-year-old victims in this case. One of the victims that has found out has been shot five times, Your Honor. He's still at uh, regional, Your Honor. He's had his whole right leg reconstructed. He has his femur shattered, a pelvis uh, has broken, and um, still in a uh, fairly serious condition there at regional, Your Honor. Their victim received one shot in the hip area or the groaning area, Your Honor. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to come home soon from that standpoint. Both of them was, had to go through surgery. Both of them had to be uh, at the front of the regional administration, Your Honor. One of the witnesses uh, at the scene yard said, no, it came in the house and just started shooting. So, um, you know, obviously we feel like these things in the community. I bet Scare Fowler here if you need more additional information. But based off the information, whatever, he definitely shot two uh, juveniles. Uh, he ran from the scene, had the gun on him when police approached him outside um, from their yard. So we feel like a bunch of denying in this case. And uh, he'd be kept in jail until um, he's tried in general sessions or heard by a general sessions judge. Do you have anything else to give to me to look at or I do, Your to Honor, consider? He does have a juvenile record. You may show this to him before. Yeah. Right here yes, please. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to state on the record, but you have a copy of this is a juvenile record. Yes, sir. And Your Honor, I do have a. Um, Family member of the victim, Your Honor, Erma Matea, I think, Matina, would like to address the court. Okay. Also, Just give me one second. Mr. Allison has anything else to add or not? Okay. All right. If you hear from the victim's advocate or the victim, whoever wants to speak, you'll just stand up, sir, um, and tell me your name. My name is Eric McLean. I'm the victim, or brother to one of the victims. Okay. And I'd just like to ask that his bond be denied. I don't think that the menace to society that he is should be released. I think he should sit in jail until his day comes. Mm -hmm. And I think when his day comes, they should give him the max and then some. Because right. there's no sense in what this this heinous whatever did. Okay. No sense in it. Okay. Ms. Austin, do you have anything else for any of the other victims' families? Uh, not this time. Nothing else. Okay. Detective Fowler, do you have anything? Uh, nothing at this time, really. Okay. Mr. Blanton, do you have anything you want to tell me? But now remember, you have the right to remain silent. Yes, ma'am. 
You're fixing to testify. You can't do that. But the question you ask is a fair question. That's going to be between you and your attorney because you do have the right to an attorney. And if you cannot afford one, one is going to be appointed for you. So that will be a question for your attorney, okay? So keep that in mind when you get one or when you meet him. And I will tell you how to do that as well, okay? Is there anything else? Lieutenant, anything from the city? No, ma'am. Okay. What? Okay, what? You I think he has the right to tell if he wants to tell. Be warning about his rights. Okay, but right. well, just remember, you have the right to remain silent. But if you want to talk to him, talk to him. So I'm not taking that that you don't want to tell me anything else. I'm kind of like confused with what I can tell you. Okay, again, you don't have to say anything. But if you want to say it, you've been warned. So if you say it, it can be used against you in a court of law. So I'll let you make that decision, and you got about one more minute. When I first got there, he like the dude that was me. He said, "Come outside." Solicitor, do you want him to keep talking? And he has his right to talk. Okay. You warn him and everything, and you have a right to. I mean, he has a right to let you consider every factor involved in volunteering. Okay. Keep going. This is your last opportunity. I'm I'm Sir? I'm not talking I'm sorry. So you're done? Yes, you not You don't want to tell me anything else? I do feel like I ain't the real sense of warning because it's just me making make myself out to be the bad person. Just, obviously, I did something I was not supposed to do, but how would you feel when poor people are jumping on you and you're in their house and okay. you're with them? Okay. I understand that those are going to be some trial issues, okay? That's not anything at the bond hearing that does anything with your bond. But those are certainly going to be some trial issues for Solicitor Barnett and your attorney, okay? All right, hearing everything that I have heard this morning, um, Mr. Blanton, you will be remanded to the Cherokee County Detention Center without bond, where you will remain until you have your attorney get you into circuit court in front of a general sessions judge, at which time he, they may or may not give you a bond, but at this time, your bond is denied. Okay, do you have any questions? Uh, when, when is the next court date? It's going to be between you, yeah, the December 5th is your first appearance. Uh, but as far as your court date, court date, that will be between you and your attorney and the solicitor's office with Solicitor Barry Barnett. Okay, okay. any other questions? Solicitor, do y'all have anything else? Uh, no, ma'am, we don't. Okay, thank you, sir.